experience with the bull weevil started very early in my life in that my father was a major cotton producer in the, this community of Garysburg, North Carolina. By the time I was 10 years old, I realized that maybe I was born the same year the bull weevil came into the United States for a purpose because 10 years later, my daddy put me out there and began the bull weevil eradication program in 1934. When I was 10 years old, he gave me a, a bucket with molasses in it with a little poison in it to kill the bull weevil. It had begun to be a major problem in our cotton crop. And my father had found that we could be mechanized with a wheelbarrow. He had a bucket in the middle of it that had the molasses and the arsenic of lead in it that we were to mop the cotton with. Well, it was 10 years before we found out a bull weevil didn't eat molasses, so I probably was wasting my time, but it still spent my summers mopping cotton. So that was my early experience with working on getting rid of the bull weevil. But from there, it was a pretty tough fight till 1970. We'll skip a lot of time between there, but a major struggle with cotton growers with the bull weevil. So I started a trial program in 1970, and I have convinced myself and a few other people that we can eradicate the boll weevil. I had learned that by spraying a lot of cotton in the same area in the short time was the best way to be effective with my control of boll weevil. So that was the beginning of a 20 or 25 year program to eradicate boll weevil. There was a lot of details between the, in that 20 years. In most of the states where the referendum was not passed the first year, it took two and in some states three referendums before we would get the compulsory necessary to carry on the bow weevil program. So it took us about 20 some years to get the program across the cotton bill and that's sort of where along the way I gained the reputation of being Mr. Bow Weevil. And so I am indeed very much honored that I have been recognized now at a national level as being Mr. Bow Weevil, and I'm quite proud of it. And it certainly has been an economic advantage to the cotton industry in the United States that we no longer have to fight the weevil that for many, many years thought would be a lifetime battle for people in the cotton industry.